chances are you're going to be making some type of mashed potato dish for your Thanksgiving feast. But while it is a staple, let's admit at times it can feel a little bit uninspired. Okay, this time we're making a loaded mashed potato bake, and it's really easy because we're using these old home mashed potatoes. So here to help, it's the cooking mom, Amy Hanton, back Hi, with Hi, Amy. Like, this sounds good. I know, and we're coming back from commercial, and she's like, "These potatoes are so these are good. legit. They're, you don't have to do the peeling business. They are a game changer." Okay, so first of all. Um, one of my worst things. I hate peeling potatoes. Yeah. I just do. And yeah. there's so yeah. much going on at Thanksgiving. And what I also love, too, is serving some new dishes. So even if you're doing traditional dishes, yeah. it's really nice to do a cheesy, bacony potato dish, I too. I agree. So, this you know, looks to me like something that travels really well. It does. So if yeah. you're asked right. to bring a dish, that's really good. Absolutely. Where traditional mashed potatoes can get a little gluey if you travel I with totally them. I totally agree. Okay. So, and this is for people who don't have time to cook. Um, and so these are these old home premium mashed potatoes. I didn't even know Old Home was they're, doing mashed potatoes. They're new. Okay. All right, and great. You can get them at the grocery store. What I love about them is all pre made mashed potatoes are not created equal. That's the truth. All right, sir. So these are the real deal. It's like uh, real potatoes, real cream. Real butter. That's wow. it. Uh, boom. A little Done. bit of milk. Whole yeah. milk. So I, I, I'm picky. You know, if I'm going to take shortcuts, I don't want to to you don't have a, a lot flavor. Of, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I want the good stuff. So, all right, we're going to start with two containers of this. This Great. is going to go into okay. a, um, a make a big nine by thirteen. Would you spray the casserole just for to. me? Yes. Good. Right, and buy so a just third gonna, so it's ready for later. Yeah. And, <laughs> and you know what? If you've got a lot of people coming, don't feel bad. Double, triple the recipes. I always say. Yeah. You know, it's all good. You don't want to be running out. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Right, we got it. Pam is my best friend. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we dump the potatoes in, those wonderful old home premium mashed potatoes. Now, Good. we're going to season them up. I'm all about jazzing things up. Um, so we've got garlic powder, onion powder. Boom. And the old home sour cream. Oh, this is so, good yep. stuff. A nice yeah. big yeah. scoop of that. Yeah, bring I'll, it on. I love me some sour cream. Me too. I think sour oh, cream yeah. is makes wonderful. Everything it's better. a gift from God, really. Yep. Yum. <laughs> yeah, it's wonderful. And even if you don't make this at Thanksgiving, this is great with the prime rib during the Christmas season, the beef yeah. tenderloin. That's I mean, I know. And that's what Mary Jane was saying about her stuffing, that it, she loves it with a pork roast. So these recipes are something to think about outside of just the big Absolutely. turkey Absolutely. Because you might have your menu kind of like, uh, but there, you always say add a couple other things. I am not saying don't not make the green bean casserole because you might be in the doghouse if you, sure. yeah, you add a couple new folks. things. Yeah. You know? So I added I some shredded cheese and, and bacon. If you're making bacon on a Sunday, I always say make a couple extra pieces. And then we're going to spoon that in here. This is a heavy bowl. Oh my gosh, here, I'm going to hold the bowl. Steve, will you mind have the chopping muscles? up some green yeah. onions? Oh, yeah. What I love about, like, that's what they're sitting there for, man. All right, let's kidding. do it. I don't, know, I don't know how I just got left with this. I, I don't know. Myself. It's like the biggest I'm on bowl. onion duty. <laughs> Here's my other thing about this. This is a make ahead. Thanksgiving, you do not want to be making 53 different dishes. No. My, both my kids are going to be home from college. I want to be hanging out with them. Yeah. yeah this you exactly can make right. like Monday and then just bake it off oh, before everybody whoa, you know gets there. Great. So keep it covered in the refrigerator. Extra cheese and bacon on top. I'm really digging the cheese. texture of this. This it's, is good. Because they're real mashed potatoes. Yeah, this you know, is good. I mean, they're not messing around. Yeah. So. I don't know. I I am with you. Sometimes it's Ladies, just like. Ladies, the onions are done. Okay, just hold good on. Good job. Do you want more bacon? On yes, that? yes, yes. Oh. Good. Boom, boom, boom. More bacon, more better. Oh, uh, this is a garnish at the end, is it not? Yes, it is. Bake it till it's bubbly. Everybody's oven's different. If you're taking it out of their fridge, remember it's going to take a little longer to bake. Green onions uh, uh, or some chives on top and warm and bubbly. This is like the ultimate comfort food and. I, I never met this. a potato that didn't wasn't like that loaded up. You no know? kidding. Do you want me to dish you up here, Steve? I do. You want a little bit there? Probably that's too small of a portion. Yep. But don't we'll start like with the that. portion, but no, we'll, we'll go with it. We'll start there. And I right. want you guys to taste these potatoes because they are the real deal. Oh. And I'm I'm picky. I know this is good. Let's get to it. Ready? Right. Uh huh. Here we go. Right in front of the woman who cooked it for us. <laughs> yes, sold. Yeah. Done. Great mm. with meatloaf too. Fabulous. Why do, you think, why do you think people make normal mashed potatoes? I think they might <laughs> not they anymore. Know? I know, because these are new. Does every single person, um, this is something I actually don't know about mashed potatoes, but does, in every mashed potato recipe, is sour cream involved? It should be. But is it? Because no. I feel like I grew up in a home that okay. didn't include sour cream All right, in my you, potatoes. Listen, you already threw your mom under the bus with Halloween. Like, don't wreck the other okay. holidays. All right, sorry. Okay. This is just getting too. I upsetting. just don't remember tubs of sour cream being involved. Oh. That should go in there. It it is it like as as mm. a little bit of tang that cuts through yeah. the thick you know like dairy business. Agreed. So Amy knocked it out of the park. Thanks. We're gonna so see if um, Kelly will be dreaming about this loaded mashed potato bake um, tonight. Are they that good? They're so good. Anyway. I want to buy the container and just eat it out of the container. Kelly, you ate your whole portion. That's I really good. All. I ate it before we even got to making it. <laughs> oh. I didn't even know then that they were instant. I mean, they're it's like the 
the most genius thing. I'm making these every week. I no, mean, and you should so because, good. first of all, like Amy said, you can pronounce all the ingredients. Yeah. Yeah. It. So yeah. it's real food. Right. And also, like, I, we never eat mashed potatoes at my house because no. you can't, you don't, ma nobody makes those time. for real. <laughs> right? Nobody does. Ask people. Who's got time for that? So but, no. the, uh, but the, yeah, I'm mm. going to make this. And an easy potluck addition if you have to take it somewhere. Yeah. You're not right? to deal with it all day. I think the portability factor is like a real game changer on this yeah. recipe, Amy. And foil pans now come with the lids. You don't need to worry about getting the dish back because Lord knows that's a stressor. I know. You know, it's like, uh, it is. You know, my so. sister in law once had my stock pot for oh at least eight God. weeks. There you go. You I don't mean, want you want any family fights over that. So, um, yeah, glad you like that it. That's a great yeah. job. Very, very it's tasty. It's all gone. Did you go in for number two? I had seconds in. I finished them. Big boy. <laughs> Thanks, Amy. Really, really Thanks good for stuff there. Yeah. We posted this recipe on our website along with a link to buy uh, one of Amy's cookbooks. Go check those out. Big thanks to Old Home for sponsoring Twin Cities Live and frankly for changing the mashed potato game for us yeah. all. Oh, by the way, our audience, uh, you're welcome. Guess what? You guys get to go home with Old Home products today. So we're yeah. setting you up for a little bit of success in the kitchen. They're eating good too. Yeah, they're happy. All show long. After the break,